Okay, hello everyone. I am back. Thank you for joining Hawkeye Traders' live presentation of our launch of the Hawkeye Tomahawk Trading System. My name is Randy Lindsay, host of today's presentation, and joining me today is Marcus Toom. Marcus Toombs is our Forex specialist, and he is the designer and developer of the Hawkeye Tomahawk System. Marcus, are you there? I am. Hello, and uh, I'm pleased to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to do a very quick presentation today. We're going to introduce to you the the new and improved Hawkeye Tomahawk system. We've been developing it over time, and like most traders and most trading plans, if you are consistent, then you are developing your software, you're always updating it, you're always finding ways to improve it, not only to improve your bottom line, to also improve your trade management. So what we've done is we've put together a package that does all that for you. But before we get started, I just want to make sure that we get uh, all the necessary things out of the way. So first of all, I just want to make sure that you understand that we are here for educational purposes only. That the software we identify and we show you today um, is software we use in our own trading uh, to help us in the trading. But you have to understand that trading Forex futures or stock op or options is not appropriate for all traders. There is a substantial amount of risk that can be made uh, in these trades. There's also a substantial amount of reward. Make sure that uh, you understand the risks that are inherent to these met methodologies and these uh, trading environments and that you understand what those are uh, and that anything that we present to you today will not guarantee or keep or prevent you from uh, uh, these losses. Uh, any hypothetical or simulated performance results we have shown or demonstrate uh, have certain limitations uh, that there is no uh, promise of any future results that can be based on any historical uh presentation so no nothing we do not tell you to buy or sell anything we're not registered trades at trade advisors and we can't uh, tell you what to trade but what we can do is we can educate you we can help you to get the tools in your hands and we can show you how they're used and how we use them to consistently take profits out of these markets and that's how we're trying to do these things okay so today's agenda, what we're going to be going over, we want to introduce you to Hawkeye Tomahawk. We're going to go over the Tomahawk concepts. We're going to introduce you to the individual components that are held within Tomahawk. We're going to make you a very special offer towards the end of this presentation. Then we're going to open it up for any types of questions and answers. We're going to show you live charts. We're going to give you live demonstration. We're even going to show you a video of Tomahawk in action to help you to see firsthand how it's traded and how we use it in these markets. So without further ado, let's just get started. Hawkeye Tomahawk is optimized volume method tool. Now at Hawkeye, we do everything based on volume. Volume is the most important tool in the market. And so you're probably sitting there saying, Hawkeye volume, you don't have volume in the Forex market. Come on, Randy. Well, I'm going to tell you that Hawkeye volume has developed a method of taking tick count within the Forex markets, which we do have. And from the tick count, we can do the exact same methodology that we apply to true volume, volume spread analysis, volume price analysis. And we take that into account in the Forex market. And so what that does is it gives for X traders for the first time a edge the ability to be head to head with the institutional traders to be able to see what they have access to all along and that's the the volume information coming into the market because volume really is the only leading indicator what we've done with Hawkeye is we've developed a tool set and everything that we have is based on volume we've funneled that into a low cost month to month subscription model so that everyone now will have a chance to to take a try a test drive of Hawkeye indicators through the Tomahawk platform in order to see how they too can trade these markets what the also what we've developed for Hawkeye Tomahawk is software plus training so not only do you get the software, but we also give you a full-time guy who's sitting back and is going to dedicate himself to training you on how to use the software in order to uh, accomplish your trading plan goals. What it includes is uh, daily video examples and trade analysis, live weekly instruction where you get all of your questions and answers uh, questions answered and all of your um, uh, platform questions uh, uh, um, identified. Um, we give you a color-coded trading system that makes it easy to identify trade setups and 
specific pairs that you need to be focused on. And each week we're going to be putting out new training videos uh, from the presentations and everything will be made available in an exclusive members only area. And there's a lot more as well. So for now, I'm going to go through the concepts that we relate to when we refer to Tomahawk. Tomahawk volume, Tomahawk trend, Tomahawk Fat Man, and the Tomahawk Scanner. These are the components that make up the core concepts within Tomahawk, and we're going to go through these in detail right now. If there are any questions, then uh, if you hold them until the question and answer portion of the video, then we will be able to answer them directly. Uh, but during the presentation, it probably would be best for us as we present these concepts to go ahead and give you the information and then make sure and take a note of your questions because we will answer your questions and we will not leave anybody out. Okay, as I said earlier, volume is the fuel that drives the market. Okay, without volume, you really are flying blind. And a lot of the Forex traders are out there, they're, tra they're trading off of price, they're trading off of Bollinger Bands or MACDs or, or something where they're, they're, they're trading lagged. They're trading behind the times. See, volume is really the only leading indicator. Our volume algorithm takes a look at every single price bar. So when you're looking at these price bars, we're identifying the presence of buyers. That's what the green volume bars identify and show you. Green buying volume. I can make sure that you can see that right here. Okay, red identifies selling volume. White, which is very unique, identifies no demand or equal distribution. So what we do is we perform volume spread analysis and volume price analysis on every single price bar in order to determine the presence of selling pressure or buying pressure in the market. And based on that, we perform over 300 calculations per bar to give you that clear distinction. But we've made it simple for you. We've color coded it and we've made it so it's identifiable. OK, the Tomahawk volume then takes it one step further. And Marcus will be going over that in just a little bit. But I just want to give you that uh, highlight. There is a story you can tell just by looking at the volume. Volume tells you immense amount of information. And once you unlock that secret, uh, and apply that to our new color-coded concept within the Tomahawk structure, it's going to help you to see the, the markets in a totally new way. The Tomahawk trend. Tomahawk trend is one, trend, finding and identifying the trend is probably one of the most difficult tasks to a trader these days. All right, The Tomahawk trend identifies the trend with simple color codes. As you can see on the chart here, a green trend dot identifies a long trend. A red trend dot identifies short trend. So in the Hawkeye world, these trends are clearly identified because we use standard deviation of price and volume coupled with the average true range in order to identify if price has gone far enough and strong enough, long enough to be classified as a trend. When it's classified as a trend through our algorithms and we say that the price coupled with the volume is in line, with triple time frames, we can see a trend in place. We can identify that and say that is definitely a trend. Now, it's not going to be showing you what the exact bottoms are. It's also not going to show you the exact tops. But what it does do is it helps you to get in and take the very meat of any trade. And we also put in some money management tools like the Hawkeye Stop. It's an auto trailing stop that allows you and the market to breathe and allows you to stay far enough away from price so that you're holding the trend for as long a time as possible. Okay, so we have two different stops and we teach you exactly how to use the software as we continue on. All right, Marcus, talk. can you talk to us about the, to the Tomahawk Fat Man? Sure. Let me just um, share my screen. Can you see that? Um... Yes, I can. Okay, Randy. Mm -hmm, looks good. Okay, so uh, for those who uh, haven't seen the um, the Fat Man before, uh, this is it here on the right, and uh, it can be considered as a relative strength indicator. Uh, the top tram lines here showing that its currency is overbought, and the bottom tram lines down here showing when a currency is oversold. And uh, each of these lines that you see here represents a different currency. So, for example, the Scion line that you can see here represents the US dollar against all of its pairs 
and uh, the orange line that you can see here represents the pound. Um, we use volume, trend and pattern recognition to determine the relative strength of each currency against another currency uh, and that is all put in a, a pictorial way on this fat man. Now the way it works is if a line is ascending in the chart, so if this line representing the sign of the US dollar is going up in the charts, then we know for this current time period that the US dollar is strengthening. So that, that means it's getting stronger against all of its currency pairs. Conversely, if a line's coming down in the charts or descending, such as this orange line for the pound, then we know that currency is currently weakening within the time frame of the charts. So what we do with this is uh, we now define a concept which we say is in Hawkeye trend, okay? And this is the key to the Tomahawk system. So when a, when a currency is, is in Hawkeye trend, that means it's strengthening on the chart. So as this pound is coming up here on the line, we'll say that's in Hawkeye trend. When it's coming down the line, it's weakening, it's not in the Hawkeye trend, okay? Um, so when it's strengthening, it's in Hawkeye trend. And uh, if I go on to the next slide, uh, with that, I can show you now how that um, relates to the chart so we can color code all our charts. So taking this concept of in hawk trend, uh, we can now um, paint our trend that Randy was just describing here, the dots and the stop in the color of, of the in hawk eye trend. So in this example, this is the pound US dollar because it's the orange against the scion colors. And um, the pound is strengthening when we're going up in the charts, and that's when the dots are painted orange. Conversely, when you see the scion dots, you know the US dollar is strengthening against the pound in, on, on this chart. Um, we also paint the volume in the same colors, so that when you see volume in orange, you know that that's buying the pound. When you see volume in the scion, that means that they're selling the pound and buying the US dollar. Okay, and um, so you can see here as the price is coming down, you've got everyone is uh, buying the US dollar, and that's volume for strength for the US dollar, and the price is coming down. Um, this system, as you'll see from the video, gives uh, clarity of thought when you're trading and that's so important when you're when you're trading on the shorter time frames when you have to make very quick decisions okay we've taken it a step further and uh, we've introduced something that's very new called the tomahawk scanner and uh, the tomahawk scanner shows multiple time strengths and weaknesses and, uh, and these come in cycles and you can see each color coded pair relative to the others so for example we have a single column for each of the currency pairs, so for the green this is the euro, and then we have set time frames, so this is the one minute, this in here, the two minute, the three minute, the 15 and the 60 minute chart. So you can see that in this example the euro is in trend against one, two, three, four, five, six, all six of its currency pairs. So you know on the one minute time frame the euro is the strongest pair of the moment. Then as it goes into the two minute charts, the trend and this color flows down this line here and you can just see the strength coming into the market for the euro. Conversely, as all the lights go out as they have done for the Canadian dollar here, you can see the weakness just flowing through because it's gone out of trend against all of its currency pairs. So the way that we do this is to identify um, a, a, a change in the trend and uh, you can see the strengths coming in and it tells you which pairs to trade. Looking at this pair, you can see that the, 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 um, the pound, the orange color here, has, has no color at all, so this is currently weak. And uh, the, the Canadian here, you can interpret it, it's got long-term strength, it's been in long uh, trend, and currently it's having a pullback, and it's weakening through on the one, two, and the three-minute charts. Um, the uh, all of this is no good unless we control our money, and money management is a fundamental part of the Tomahawk system. Um, it's absolutely critical to know how much we're risking on each and every trade. Um, and to do this and to trade quickly in the time frames, we've developed this little EA here, this tool, which we call the Tomahawk Trader. And when you click on the trader, it 
puts two lines onto the charts, a red line for your stop and a green line for your take profit. Okay, and in this trader, you set the parameters. So when you, as you can see here in this example, the price is here and we set our parameters. So we want our stop under the low, the last low, if we're doing that and our profit target at some point up here. Now, if we want to risk a half a percent of our, our account on this trade, then uh, we've set the account defined risk percentage within the tool. So when we press the buy button, and you'll notice there's only a buy button here, if the stop was above and the, and the green take profit was below, then this would change to a sell button. Okay. It works out how many pips that is from the entry point down to your stop, say it's 10 pips, and then it divides by the, um, the dollar value, or whichever currency you're trading in, of uh, to rest, risk half a percent. So if you're at a $10,000 account, you'd risk $50 on the trade. So you know if this line comes down, takes you out of your stop, you've lost $50. So you've defined your risk, and that's so important. Now what it does is it calculates the lot size for the trade and then enters that uh, instantly into the trade. Um, as this runs, you can, of course, move your profit down or up, and you can also move your stop to the break-even point or entry point once this has got into profit. So it's a very, very useful tool, and it allows us to give full control over our money management. Okay, so that's the Tomahawk suite of indicators. So it includes the trend and stops, as uh, you've seen there. It also includes the, the Tomahawk volume. Now there is, um, I haven't got a picture here, but there is another way we can display the volume, and that's to actually paint it on the, on the bars, the open, high, low, close bars. And uh, some people prefer that rather than the volume down at the bottom of the chart. And that, rather than down here, it's actually painted on these bars. And that, that gives you the leading indicator so, for example, if these bars at the top here all turn to Scion, then you know there's selling, everybody's buying the dollar, which is selling in, in the case of this, and then the price comes down. It indicates already um, that the price is going to move. Uh, pivots, if uh, you're familiar with Hawkeye, then you'll know that there's pivots painted, and these are again color co coordinate, coordinated uh, with the Tomahawk system. So as the price comes down here, and uh, we get a pivot low here, then that's telling us the price will be pushed up in the charts. Conversely, if you're coming up here and you have a pivot, then this is, the price is going to be pushed down, and that's typically for one, three, or five bars. Um, when we get um, a series of pivots, high, low, high, low, then you know we're going into congestion, and also that the price will probably reverse at that stage. We get the Tomahawk Fat Man, and the Tomahawk Scanner, as I've just described, and also the Tomahawk Trader. Now that is only available for MT4 because TradeStation uh, now don't let you trade through their platform. We've also got a tool coming, um, which is the Hawkeye Fibs. It's based on Fibonacci's uh, for your profit taking and your retracements. So if um, on a trade here, you would look for a, a pullback into a, a retracement and then you would set your profit target here as a ratio of the Fibonacci numbers. It's just a very simple tool um, and it will be tied in with the trader um, and we use it as an aid to, uh, to helping us with our trading. Now these new indicators are all color coded and designed to work together as a complete system for scalping, trend trading or even long time trades. It includes weekly live trading sessions, daily video trade examples, access to the on-demand tra video trading archives, and also access to the members-only chat group and more. Okay, so let's put it all together and see what my charts will look like. Now, I have this for a one monitor setup, so you can trade all of this just with, with one screen. We have the scanner, um, as previously described. We also have the three fat men here. We tend to use uh, multiple fat men time charts to, uh, to enable us to see the waves as they go through the price waves as they go through the market. I tend to use a one minute fat man here to, for my trade entry and exits. I don't want to enter a trade if we're just peaking at the overbought territory because we know where that stage is likely to pull back. We use the time frame of our charts. So if these are three minute charts, then this will be the three minute. And this is showing the, the, uh, the extremes of where our chart is here. And we also look to the larger time frames, three times normally. So this would be 
an eight or a nine minute fat man just to give us the, the longer term direction. You can see here the, the euro's just turned up and uh, it's coming above the halfway into some good strength and uh, so you'd be interested in trading this one then you would time your entries from the other two charts. Um, the, we look for pattern recognition within these fat men and uh, that will be all explained within the education side. On the other side here you can see these are for my Canadian pairs so I have the six Canadian pairs that we trade against Canadian US dollar, Canadian pound, Canadian yen, Canadian euro, Canadian Australian dollar and the Canadian um, New Zealand dollar and uh, the beauty of this system here it gives you at a glance what's happening in the market. If you came in and you saw these yellow dots all came in at once on this single chart you would know instantly that the Canadian is strengthening against all of its currency pairs. That will give you the confidence to jump in on this time frame. You then refer to your scanner and you would see if this whole column was lit up that it was not just on the three minute charts, it's also on the one minute, the two minute charts, so in the 15 and the 60 minute charts and then you know that it's a really strong currency. We then look at the weaker currency from the scanner, so here the yen has got no colour in it and you would look to trade um, the Canadian against the yen. At the current time you can see also that the, the, um, the dots have now all gone to a different colour, to the alternative colour and uh, you remember we, we saw that the colour had gone out of the Canadian and this was quite uh, blank here and you can see why that is, it's weakened and it's on a pullback but the, the interest is all in the Canadian at this current time because all of these charts are mirroring each other in their patterns. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and uh, Randy, can we get the video on and show an example of, of my trading in action? Absolutely, let me take that back real quick. And I will start the video. Now this is about an 11 minute video, uh, so the time will take us a little bit after the uh, uh, half past. So uh, uh, it, if you'll be patient with that, the video shows some very good setups. It shows Marcus live in the market, what he does before the trade sets up, and then he shows what he does as the trade sets up and as the trade breaks out. And he shows how he manages the trade, and he shows how he uses the system to identify, enter, and then how he takes his 2% uh, profit targets out of the market. So here we go. It's uh, doing it again. Marcus, do you have the play button on your side? Okay, I'm going to stop the video. And I'm going to start it again. And there we go. Hello everybody and welcome to the Tomahawk FX Trading Room with your host Marcus Toombs and the date is the 9th of February 2017. This is me trading the London Open. Now the time is about 4 minutes to 8 so I look to trade at 8 o'clock um, or soon thereafter because that's we, we know at that point there's a lot of volume coming into the market. So what am I looking for? I'm looking at the scanner to see that the pound is, there's no one currency that's particularly strong. The uh, yen is particularly weak, the lights are all out, and the New Zealand is weak after last night's news. I'm keeping the interest rates on hold. As we go into this session with three minutes to go now, and uh, we can see the pound has just turned up on the one minute chart, and it's going to come into strength. We're looking for this to turn up on the three minute chart and run up to the tram lines. And if it does, that is... Uh, what we will trade this morning, this pound strength. You can see on the eight minute, the pound has already been strong and it's coming up to the oversold territory. So if we do trade pound strength, it won't be for a particularly long time this morning as this has already been well bought. We'll look to trade against the yen, against New Zealand, against the Aussie if this turns down and against the uh, Euro if this also turns down. We will wait till see. So what have I done? I've gone to my charts and I've put the most recent high in this yellow line here. The most recent low and the most recent high. All I'm looking for is a break of this line 
with Hawkeye volume and I will enter the trade and uh, we will uh, look to take um, let me see how much we've got in this account so in this account it's currently nine thousand dollars so we're looking to risk a half a percent on each trade and uh, we're looking to make between one and one and a half percent so ideally um, a risk on nine thousand is forty five dollars per trade and we're looking to make approximately forty five dollars from from the trade or thereabouts okay so I've set my parameters the high and the low the previous range now I'm looking for the dots now you see at this current time um, the pound Canadian has gone into congestion it's in a tight consider zone we have actually got a smaller parameters a high a pivot high and a pivot low here we could do a break out of that the distance between these is just 17 pips 16.9 pips and that's about right for trading this session once this gets moving it should move with some force and we should be able to pick up um, some pips so I've done that with each of my trades as you can see here now we've just gone above this um, high on the yen so I'm going to move it up to the most recent high and um, you can see for the pound we go up in strength for these five currencies and for the pound euro we come down in strength now with this Hawkeye tool here with one minute to go put it on you put your stop in place so we're going to be trading this down for strength but you take profit in place and um, we're already away to the races the yen is already need to just buy all these because we got in I'm going to already be taking some profit here um, I need to just move this up in my charts and um, we've broken to the upside so I also want to be in the US dollar click and drag this and you highlight the let's get this centered a bit more so it's a nice big bar as we came in and um, I'm going to move this profit target to give me a chance to, um, to trade this so we've broken to the low now on the euro as well so I'm in this trade so I'm now in all of my six trades I've now got my profit target sufficiently far away from the trades to um, to allow me to trade this as I see fit so um, what are we looking for now looking for our exit and um, you can see here the pound on the one minute has shot up very fast and we've had a lot of acceleration you see this one big bar came in bang on eight o'clock and that shows me that there's volume entering the market and it's all buying volume everybody's buying the pound against all of our other six currencies the euro the canadian the us dollar the aussie the new zealand and the yen now as we see this volume come in we will see the hawkeye dots these are orange dots um, start to get wider apart and uh, move up in the more vertical lines you see here we're getting some very nice acceleration coming into the into the trade and um, the uh, it really came in bang on eight o'clock this morning which is not unusual um, I was just um, recording this video and trying to explain some things and so it did catch me just on the hop a little bit but we're in the trade now we have to monitor the trade and this is very important remember I'm only looking for about 45 to 100 dollars profit on each of these risking just a half a percent um, on each trade now as we come sufficiently far away I can move all my stops to break even and then I have a free trade a free run on this on each of these so if the price does for any reason ping back then I shall um, be stopped out of the trade for no loss with this tomahawk system it's very beautiful in the fact that you can just grab this red line 
stick it on the entrance price on the charts and that will be set then at break even. So the pound New Zealand is, is setting off very nicely, $28. You can see the, the pound now is getting quite high on the one minute chart here and all of the other currencies are turning down. Um, the pound has turned up very strongly on the three minute there. And this is the line that we're following being three times the um, time frame of the one minute charts, which these are all one minute charts I'm trading uh, because the market at this time of the morning is very fast. Now, what we can see is the um, we're in profit on all of them. We're now getting up towards the um, $40 mark on this um, New Zealand and Aussie. So I'm just monitoring it. You can see the beauty is that we have this solid volume, solid buying volume of, um, of pound. We want to be watching these. I will be exiting any trade that I see is not as strong to um, start reducing any risks that I have on the trade. So with this now at $43 on the New Zealand, and remember the New Zealand had um, a lot of weakness last night with their interest rate decision to keep on hold. So I'm now bringing in my stops to break even. So I cannot lose on this pound New Zealand trade. And that's a very nice feeling. It's a free trade. I also um, on the pound Aussie. So all these trades are going very nicely. I just need to keep moving the profit target just away. If it suddenly shoots up and hits my profit target here, then I'll be more than happy. I just want to keep watching this. And you can see at the current time on my trades, I'm now up to in total 180 and uh, you know that that is um, um, nice and uh, a sufficient profit on my trading account I'm just watching this come up you see the one minute here we're getting very high and um, the three minutes is coming up here the eight minute is very high now so I'm starting now certainly to look at my exit Um, this pound can turn down and turn back up when it turns on the shoulder pattern. We look for patterns within the, uh, the fat man here to tell us when to enter and exit the trade. Now, if I continue to read these charts, the dots are still getting wider apart and still on a very nice angle. So I'm happy to stay in the trade at the moment. You'll see there's a lot of momentum still with the trades. The trade we know moves in waves. And so there will always be pullbacks. We don't get frightened of pullbacks. We work with them. It's like breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Just get the relaxation of the market. You will get occasional bars of opposing volume coming in here, uh, but that's uh, that's okay and to be expected. And uh, you can see this is a big bar coming up here, and we will see what colour it is. Uh, so it's green on the euro. The euro is strong. You can see it's turned up here. Okay, so whilst this is um, a decent trade still, I think I'm going to exit the euro trade and um, uh, because we know the euro is strong and this price is not moving by as much as these other trades are. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close, take $7 of profit on that trade there simply because I've made my money on these other trades. And... Um, if we look at um, this trade here with the pound at the top there, I'm going to decide I've made 2%. I'm going to decide to close all of my trades. And that is my trading done for the day. And if we look at the profit margin on this trade, we made $210 on a trade size of 9,000. So that is just over 2% for the day. The time now is eight minutes past eight. I'm done dusted for my day. I've made my 
and uh, and that is a very nice and very typical example of how I trade the London Open. Awesome. Okay, that concludes the video. Let me go through and uh, go back and change presentation over to Marcus. And actually, let me go ahead and take that back, Marcus, because I need to show yeah. a... Uh, we're going, we're going to go through some live trade examples. Before we do that, um, I would like to make a presentation and an offer to you guys to go ahead and get started with the uh, uh, Hawkeye system. So uh, before we go on and, and we go through these live chart examples, we're going to go to those. We'll show you everything. But I just want to give you a link to, to get you started on that. So today's offer, we're going to allow you to have full access to the Hawkeye Tomahawk trading system, full access to the membership area, access to our weekly live training room, the daily trading video examples, uh, access to the Tomahawk Skype inner circle. And make sure you understand this, the 30-day trial does include the full Hawkeye software suite. So you get the actual software in your hands. You get to play with it for 30 days, $47. Only $47 gets you 30 days access to the full software suite 30 days of instruction directly from Marcus himself on the whole, the whole Tomahawk training suite. And it automatically renews it at as low as $97 after your 30-day trial if you do not uh, let us know before that. The link is www.hawkeyetraders.com slash T-O-M, Tom. T-O-M. And I put that in the link there for you. And let me do that again because I think I just only sent that to <laughs> there. That way, there you go. There it is right there. HawkeyeTraders.com slash T-O-M if you want to get started right away. Uh, well, I'll save that link and we'll make it available to you a little bit later. Right now, it is available for TradeStation and MetaTrader 4. We did have it available for NinjaTrader, but there's some last-minute changes by NinjaTrader and uh, NinjaTrader's primary clearinghouse FXCM that caused some problems. And we uh, right now uh, are not offering uh, FX uh, the, um, the platform NinjaTrader for, for now. But uh, right now, we do have it available for both TradeStation and MetaTrader 4. Okay, so Marcus, if you could take back over and, and give us a nice live demonstration of your screens on both MetaTrader 4 and TradeStation, that would be great. Sure. If I can... You know, I'll, I'll put you back over. There you go. Okay, I think you can all see my screen now. Yeah, it looks good. Thank and, you. Uh, <clears throat> so I just wanted to show you this trade on the Canadian, which is live. This is a live in the market. Uh, this is uh, the, um, the live edge of the market right here. And you can see how amazingly uh, vivid and um, visual this system is to allow you to take trades because you can see the yellow dots, and that is the Canadian. It has been extremely strong against its counterparts. And uh, we know that it's very highly co correlated to oil, and that's the, that's this move here now. On how we use this fat, fat, fat man is this the 15-minute fat man here? We could use the eight, um, or um, we we will go into to have to choose the fat man in the education. But you can see that at the point at which it turned up here on a double shoulder, we look for these pullbacks and then for it to go. And this is the long time. This is the 15 minutes. So. This is giving you the trade, and the trade you can see running right up to the top here. You could see would have kept you in in that trade the whole whole way along there, and that's moved a substantial amount of pips. Euro CAD here has moved uh, over well over 100 pips in in, the, in this in this move down here that's just happened, and uh, we time our entries into the charts as I was saying with uh, with the one minute fat man. So, for example, here on the Euro CAD, I can bring up. The EuroCAD um, Fat Man. We can display them all together, or you can display uh, just the currency pair that you're looking at. So at this current point on the on the chart here, if you wanted to get back into this trend, you'll see that the Canadian had weakened, so it's overbought here, and it weakened, 
in this part up in this chart here. Okay, so the price had gone up in the charts for weakness, and then you can see as it turns up on the one minute again, it comes into strength, and that is the move down back down in the charts there. So we're, we're timing our entries uh, and looking for our entries off, off the fat man uh, to see what's coming into strength. So that would be an example of how we could have, could have traded that, that leg down there just from, from the one minute knowing that it can't keep going down here once it's over uh, overextended, oversold. It's like elastic band, it, it gets away from the dots, you can see, and it pings back um, towards, towards the moving average if you think of the trend as a, as a moving average. Okay, so if we look at the charts right at the moment, and Randy, I'll I'll just carry on until you ask me anything else. You can you can see here the the Aussie is fully lit up here on this channel here. So we would go let's go to the Aussie charts and have a look at those. And uh, this this is right at the live edge. So since uh, two GMT, which is um, nine o'clock uh, Eastern, um, you can see here this run up that we've had in the Aussie dollar. And uh, we can check any of those. You can see here that the pound is particularly weak, so we could look at the pound Aussie on the fat man. And what, what you'll see is that, uh, well, you can see the Aussie is, is turned up there and the, the pound was turning down on the longer time frames. And, um, and, and, and that's why we get the movement. So, for example, the Aussie US dollar is this one that's had a, a nice 30 pip move here. Um, in the last uh, hour, you can see, but you you get confidence to trade this because it's not just the Aussie strengthening against the US dollar. We can see it's strengthening against all its currency pairs, and that uh, uh, that swell of of buying is what we try and tap into, uh, and, and how this system works. And, uh, you can see the New Zealand. The colours are just going out a little bit, but I think that was also. Quite strong, and you can see visually the colour of the dots in here. I think uh, let's just have a look at the US dollar pairs. Um, you can see that there's no scion dots in the last couple of hours, and so you can see that the US dollar has been weakening against all of the currency pairs until this pivot high here, and then just here in the last uh, what's that, half an hour, uh, the price is, is pulled back in the chart. So we've had some. The US dollar strength on the smaller time frame. So if I went down to the one minute charts, and let's do, go ahead and do that, you can see the Scion, this is the one minute chart, the Scion dots have just come in. So we've just come into trend on the one minute charts. Now we can go to the two minute charts, and you can see the trend dots have gone white, which is a neutral. Um, when this closes underneath the stop, then that will go to a, a Scion. And you can start seeing the color fill up on the top of this and come down in this column. And as it comes down, you know this currency is strengthening, and, um, and uh, so that that's uh, in essence how we do it. Obviously, with combined with the uh, with the volume. Let me just show you it on MT4. Um, so the MT4 is where we've got our trader bar, and if I just show you how this works, so um, we have it just sitting uh, sitting away off the screen when we're not trading, and um, as soon as we're ready to trade, and uh, it looks like this pound is is for example, the US dollar, let's just take an example, is going to strengthen against this pound. Um, we know it's coming in on the one minute, the two minute time frames. Another couple of bars, it will come in on the three minute. We like to, to trade the three minute, or that's certainly my preference. This system can be traded on any time frame for your preference. If you like 15 minute charts, daily charts, it, it still works and it's still very visual. So what we do now is, um, if um, I'm looking at this chart, um, let me select the euro is a little bit weaker um, for the, oh, these are my pound charts, okay, so um, let's just do it on here because I've got it set up. So if I press sell now um, and I've got this link to a, a, a demo account, the, um, um, I need to um, actually, get this right. So the sell button comes up now. It enters in, us into the trade. I'm not sure why it's not taking it, Randy. Um, I just need to check because I, you see, I only just put it on quickly. Um, I right. need to check the settings and make sure I got the deal set up right. So, but it's an EA, and then it calculates the distance to the stop and divides that by a half a percent of your account. And works out your lot size automatically, 
and that's uh, no matter if you're trading in a dollar account or a pound account as an example um, and then um, you get your entry line come in here you can move your stop to the break even point on the line uh, you never want to move it away um, you know because you've defined your risk you're you're happy if the trade goes against you you're not in a cold sweat you know that you've risked fifty dollars five dollars whatever it is um, on, on that trade and you can have confidence and, and, and not have the emotional stress that uh, sure you get stopped out but you know it, you've defined your risk you're happy to risk that amount on the trade and then as the trade comes down you move your stop down trailing it and uh, set your top profit target hit your profit target you can close out or it will automatically close out as it passes through the profit line okay so any um Specific questions you that you would like to ask because well, someone made a comment that just continue to talk. yeah someone made a comment that if you uh, set your uh, EA to uh, auto trade then uh, the EA won't uh, take a trade if it's not set so I don't know if that's been set or not if that was default no set. this one this is this is a manual uh, trade at the moment that's true but, uh, there's but no... I think it won't take the trade if it's not set to auto that's, what uh, he's that's right if, yeah. To take the trade, you actually have to physically press the buy or the sell button. Um, in, a, in a later edition, which we're working on, we can place orders. Um, so that, right. Um, I understand that. But I'm saying it even when you push the sell button, it might still not to. It still might not take the trade. It won't automatically trade, but it's it. It might still need to be set. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, if you press the sell button and, and it's all set up, I've got my auto trading off here, I noticed. Um, so I just need to put that on. Okay, well, and, um, later, we can discuss this later. Um, good, so uh, um, just by way of an explanation, do you find any other questions? And please, please ask any questions anybody would like. Yeah. Um, because, he was pointing um, out that oh, your little yeah. EA has a frowny face on. It's not a smiley face. So that means uh, yeah. it's not set up. So uh, probably take yeah. it off and put it back on again. But it's just not happy. Yeah. So yeah, and um, the um, so here you see you 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 set the risk. So this is 0 0.005. So it's 0.5. It's a half a percent of my account. That I'm going to risk on each trade, and you can set it differently from all of them. If you want to risk one percent on a trade, you you can set the figure there, and uh, that um, that comes up there. Um, so let's give it a go because I'm I'm on a sim account, and uh, the um, so that's entered me into the trade there, and um, so if it comes up and breaks this line, so we've got the bid and the ask price. I, I like to show both of them so you can see the size of the spread. And you'll you'll soon see in during news announcements that spread widening, and uh, so you can see here this is the size of the spread. So it's the bid price because all of these charts uh, show the bid price only. So uh, we have um, very specific things where if this low is broken out, then we're going to go into a downtrend. The significance of that low is very important. So we've put stops underneath it, but also um, uh, when we put our stop. It, when it comes down, we actually want to have the bid price go underneath it to be stopped out. Um, we're not too worried about the ask price because these charts are showing the bid. Um, and that's why we've got the two lines here. Um, so when this comes down, the bid price hits the green line, the ask price actually physically takes you out of the trade, hitting the red line in the MT4. Um, and that's just how it works. You see, we've got an ongoing profit and loss figure here. So if I hit the close button, we will bank. And the, the money there, um, you can see it fluctuating. But what, what you want you want to do, and, and what's very important with with this, is to um, to watch all of the trades. So you can suddenly see some pound strength coming in. Uh, you'll see the dots are all orange. You'll see the bars moving against all of the pound pairs. You'll see the volume is all gone orange. And, uh, and then you'll see that on the on the fat man you'll see the strength meter and you'll see this whole column becoming orange and you know that that's uh, that's a great time to trade and then to exit the trade the lights will start going off on the one minute column as we saw with the pound uh, for this one with the 
the, the um, Scion dots were coming in on the one minute time frame, so some of these lights would go out. Um, if, especially if you reach the overbought territory up here and this suddenly turns down, you know all the strength has gone out of the US dollar. And uh, if you were in that trade, you would look to exit um, at, at that point. So the other thing we, we need to consider on the fat man is that the uh, each line represents um, all of the pairs for that currency. So this is the pound, the orange, and you will get used to the colours. It, it doesn't take very much to learn what they are. And um, so, but it's relative to the other pairs. So if you see that here the euro is coming up strongly, but the US dollar is coming down, then you know in the charts you're likely to see, um, well, you will see that the euro strength and the, the dollar weakness. As, as, as that occurs. Um, now if a, a currency turned down from a height here, the, the currency you were trading against was the Aussie and that was also turning down, but in a lower position on this chart, in a weaker, already very weak, then this price can still actually go up with this line pointing down because the opposing pair that you're trading against, the Aussie New Zealand, the, uh, the Aussie is also turning down. So it's weakening faster than the, the US dollar is weakening and you can, you can then get movement uh, still moving up strength to the US dollar in that situation. I'll go back to my um, trade station account. I could probably give you a few more examples. If there's, um, you can see here the um, this is the euro, and so we're out of trend now on the on the euro. And if I look at the the Aussie euro. Um, yeah. This is the Euro Aussie, so the, the Aussie, but at the current time, the uh, Euro is starting to come into some strength. It's just starting to turn up on the three minute here. And the, the Aussie is uh, over support now on the eight minute, it's turning down on the three minute and turning down on the one minute. So we're going to see this price pull back to the Hawkeye stops, uh, and that's what we would expect. You can see it's already started um, on those bars there. Didn't quite get a pivot low, but um, that's that's what that's what we look for. And in the charts, you can see that the, the volume is reducing down here. Uh, the buying volume we haven't yet got green volume, so we're certainly not looking to trade it yet. But we're interpreting what what the um, the, the currencies are telling us, which is this is going to start to come into some strength now. Take a while to turn the three minute, and you can see the eight minute is still pointed down, which is weakness. But it, it, uh, you've got to wait. These these things take take a bit of time to turn, and you get what we call them shoulder patterns. So you're looking for very specific um, patterns within the chart. So it will come up, it will come down, and then turn up again. And you can you can check that on the charts. You can represent it, find out, and it will refer to a, a pullback. The price will come down, it will pull back, and then it will go further. And uh, you can see this being represented on the on the fat men. Um, which once you learn to read these, it's uh, it, it really is quite amazing how, uh, how how you can pick up trades from it, knowing which ones are strengthening and which ones are weakening uh, within within the charts. Um, there's other things we do. We don't really change trade the news by any accounts, and um, um, because it's too volatile and with, the, with this system is designed to be very visual, to make very, very quick decisions um, and uh, to, to be able to, um, to really uh, move quickly in, in the trading as, as these things are happening. And, uh, but it, it's fully usable on any of the time frames. Um, Good. Uh, I kind of lost my thought there, but I'm kind of reading some of these questions. So, uh, is there, uh, there uh, so in in, the, in uh, the, the format, I do my own trading um, every day, and uh, I, I video all my trading. And what I do is I pick out very good um, educational items from the trading, and um, like to. Uh, to to uh, to then put them into very short videos and make them available so everyone can learn 
how uh, how it's all done. And um, that's that's what I'll do. I'll I'll also include some hypothetical videos. I'll include some purely education. I'll uh, include um, just simply, you know, a couple of hours of me trading in certain videos with it. Just um, with me talking through the trades and what to look for. Um, and it's all just based on education. So learning to trade is, is takes time. And you have to be dedicated. Um, and uh, everyone has a different personality. And uh, what you need to do is learn your personality, and then use the system, the tomahawk system, to uh, to 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 its best um, in the in the way that you want to trade. Um, and it's very adaptable. For example, this scanner, we currently have one minute, two minute, three minute. This next row is the 15 and the 60, but it's fully combust um, uh, programmable, so that you could have the weekly, the daily. 720, 480, 240 time frames if, if those were the time frames that you traded. So um, um, so that's it. Randy, are you, um, are you there? Yes, I am. I are have you, one question uh, for you. Okay. Yep. When is the, the weekly live class that you have planned on holding? Have you uh, selected the day that you'll hold that? No, I, I've... Asked the, uh, I've asked a number of people um, for feedback and, and see what's best, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably flexible, so I need to just agree that with you. Okay. Um, what what day are we looking at specifically? Uh, if you're if you're leaning one way or the other. Um, the best the best trading days are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think Tuesday um, is because you've either got your other Hawkeye, and there's other Hawkeye events on, so maybe the Tuesday. Um, if, if that would work. Okay, or... good. And a specific time frame that you had in mind? Were you looking at doing it the the U.S. Open or any time frame specific? Um, I, I hadn't, um, so um, maybe okay. do... Uh... We'll focus that down. And anyone who joins will focus and will send you exactly, because some people are looking at that, deciding whether to subscribe or not, based on the time of your, your training class, so... Yeah, we can. We can. Um, I have to just finalise that with you, Randy. And, okay. Uh, we'll For now, it's going to be Tuesday at uh, U.S. Open time. Yeah, okay, and that's until, fine. Until Absolutely until fine. we decide later on, then. Okay, Dale. Yep. Hope that uh, helped a little bit there. You're welcome. It can be subject to change. Uh, we do listen to our clients, uh, so any feedback you provide us. If it uh, accommodates the majority of the traders and if it uh, fits in line with everyone's schedule as best as possible, we won't be able to make everybody happy, obviously. We're very easy to accommodate that. So um, be glad to do that. So um, I just bring your attention to this trade just coming in the pound. You can see this column is suddenly lit up on the two and now the three minute. We'll quickly look at our time frames. The 15 minute is heading up just past the halfway line, so really strengthening now. And then uh, come down to the three minute, we see this shoulder pattern, you see it's a pullback and then the, the turn up again. So that's very nice, that's in a very strong position now. And if we could have timed it to the second shoulder, right on that point there, and it's and it's really, and this is on the one minute, it really is now. And you can see the strength coming into the market. And you can see this big bar of orange volume um, coming in here now. You see it's been turning for a while and then it's just coming into the strength. So uh, I just thought I'd show you that. It's, it's a very visual and uh, system that uh, that's, uh, is easy to trade. Ra Raja asked a question. Um, how does one select the best pairs to trade for any given session? By this I imply sure. that... You know, does the system have a panel displaying the charts or the best conditions and so forth? So. No, and, and as we know, there's different liquidities at different times of the day, and uh, and you have to select your trades. In, in the slower time periods, you might move out a little bit and, and trade over a longer period. If you're trading the London Open at 8 a.m. GMT, as you saw in the video, it can move very fast, and uh, um, so you go down to the shorter time frames. In, in this particular example, you can see that the Yen is, is all lights out and the Euros lights out, so you'd go and have a look at those fat men and um, 
and you'd see the long term, the 15 minute, or we'll normally use the eight minute. But that's a very nice example. So the, the yen's turned down there, the pound's turned up, you've got good divergence. So all the pound pairs are strengthening in the charts, and all the uh, um, yen pairs are weakening. And let's go and have a look at the yen. So, um, so these these are the yen. So none of the dots at the end are scion. Okay. So you know the yen because the yen pairs is always the second in the pair. So the yen for strength always goes down. So all of these are going up in the charts, which shows the yen's weakening. We know the strongest one is the pound. That's coming in here. So if we look at um, the pound now, and then um, so you'd look to try and time your entry um, from. You see this is coming up. It's not quite turned down, but here you're getting it, and um, that's as the dots come in, and uh, you time your entry. So that that's how we identify the best trades to trade. In in the video, there was such a strong volume came in and in that time of the market for the pound that you can trade them all. Um, depends on your style. If you just like to trade one, then the we're selecting the strongest against the weakest um, to uh, to identify the trades. Can you show on MT4 that you can actually trade and set your charts to off normal time frame, custom time frames? Okay, sure. Uh, you can see we catch up with this pound US dollar chart. We, we traded it down just as an example. So it came up and, and took out the stop in this bar here. And uh, my loss was $43 on the, uh, the account, which will be a half a percent. So you can see it. it uh, it works very well to to, to uh, in both ways, in to save you and also to 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 get you into the profit. So this is a three-minute chart here. Um, the um, pound, US dollar. I'll just get up another chart, and then you just apply the template to it. So the um, standard setup. That's the nice so, part about all the software tools is that we provide the profiles and templates so that you don't have to recreate them if you don't need to. Yep, you can see how easy it was for me to get the chart up with all the colors and the volume. And uh, and so this is the, so that's a one hour, so I can turn it down to a one minute chart um, just as easily. And um, so you can see this representative, this bit up here is this in, uh, magnification. You can see how the patterns come up. So this is a three minute chart. If I turn this to a five minute chart, then um, you would see those three lines are, are just condensed into those two there. And uh, you can see this pattern coming up here. Um, now you can set any non-standard time that you like in the in the charts. If you want to do a two minute time frame, that's absolutely uh, feasible, possible. Or if you wanted to do a nine minute chart for any particular reason then uh, the settings are here um, it's in a, um, a thing called the bar chart here and then you edit it on the the inputs the slow period here you type in what time frame you want you can do a multiple if you like I times three so whatever your base chart is one minute times three that'll be a three minute chart or you can just put the time in m3 for a three minute chart and um, so it gives you great flexibility to to uh, be able to, to trade the, the chart you are and not have to be stuck with the one five and fifteen that come as standard to um, um, to MT4 and like so on the scanner you can change the time frames and also on the fat menu you see I've got a one minute here three minute and an eight minute obviously I have to base them off a one minute chart so these the underlying chart is a one minute we take that data, do all the calculations, and draw the line for the, the one minute, the three minute, and the eight minute. And it's very simple to uh, to change. If I go to the indicator list, edit, and then come down to the bottom here, the slow period, and I can change that to an M13, say, um, and uh, then um, so it's calculated. It will load up, and you'll get a, a, a 13 minute fat map. So uh, hugely flexible, 
And one thing I can I can show you is um, just change the profiles to uh, main profile. Um, you can have the scanner on a different monitor, as I say, and the fat man on a different monitor. And uh, what you can also do when this loads up is have the fat man on the individual chart. Um, so you can have the fat man down here, and then you can also have a one minute fat man, a one minute chart, but a three minute fat man if that's what you wanted to do. And um, what we would do is, is um, if I can get some crosshairs here, you you can see that um, as the the at the peak here, the U.S. dollar is turning up to come into strength. Can you see that? It's strengthening in the chart, and you can see that strength. The price comes down, so the dollar gets stronger. So we get scion dots, and uh, and that's coming. You can see when we I call it falling off the cliff when it's overbought here, and it just starts to fall. That's a sure sign that, uh, that the price is going to turn, and uh, or, or the trend is ending. And you can see that's the case there. And then you relate it back to the other pair. So here we've got the euro coming up, it's pulled back, and then it's looking to go again. So the price strengthened at that point, probably to that pivot high there, it pulled back, and that's normally to a, 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 the retracement to 50% of the run, and then it's broken up. You can see on this strength up here, that there's nobody actually interested in buying the euro, so it's, it's followed it through its strengthening in the charts because it's stronger than the low here. It's come up here. There's not many people jumping on this this price to really take it take it up. The volume is is low, and uh, and it's also um, changing the colours. White is no demand um, in either a buying or a selling, and um, so so that you can you can read these charts. So, um, so when this uh, US dollar starts to toggle down through its and comes back into strength, it's more than likely that it will move further because people will be interested in in, uh, in buying the dollar rather than the uh, euro. So that's another uh, nice way of looking at the charts and you can change these time frames. You can put a, a five minute volume on a three minute chart if you wanted to. Well, it's very, very flexible and that's the beauty to uh, to get it to suit your own um, your own personal trading style. On um, on the trade station, I have it set up in this more traditional to, um, Hawkeye fashion, and uh, I can select any of the um, currency pairs that I want to look at, and then I can relate. If I look at the pound yen, I can relate the different time frames. So if I'm trying to trade a three-minute chart and I want to get into this run, um, and uh, I've noticed that this is my parameter here, we've pulled back. I've got volume, buying volume. Uh, the price is heading up on the fat man. I know I want to get into this price, but where do I get into this price? I can drop down to the one-minute chart. Um, let me try and make this a bit bigger. Let me pull this down. So at this point here, you can see the one minute came out of trend. We had the low point here. So we just wait when the dots turn orange again on the one minute. We can actually use the one minute to enter the trade uh, and just getting a little jump on the price. Um, then it's also good to, to see the bigger picture on the 15 minute chart to realize um, quite what's happening. And, and you can see it's a turn. The trend is, is turning now. So we've got to come into uh, currently out of trend for the pound. But we're coming up. Sometimes when it's falling steeply, you realise that the one minute and the three minute is simply a pullback on the bigger trend, and then you, that tells you not to stay in the trend for very long. Uh, in that, it's a quick scalp because it's a pullback on a, on a major downtrend. Um, so that's how you use the multiple time frames to uh, to assist you on your trading. I was looking at that earlier too while I was answering some questions and you were talking. I was watching that pound just strengthen and uh, I saw all of the vacuum that existed in the yen. So I was watching that as it was starting to trade into that. And it was would have been a really nice setup. Um, it had a pretty strong pullback into the trend dot, but it was a really good setup uh, for the trade if you were looking at uh, taking that as a trade entry. I really liked its setup. It was just easy to see. Yes. 
I think that about does it. We've got a few questions still trickling in right now, but I think that we're done. Uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to add, Marcus? Uh, no, except that uh, you get me <laughs> with, <laughs> with the Tomahawk, um, and I'm I'm employed by Hawkeye to uh, to help educate you. And uh, so, any questions you have, um, in Q and A sessions, uh, even just setting up the charts, understanding it, um, I'll do daily videos that uh, assist trading. I'll, I, if I'm I see some setups on longer time frames. I, I'll, I'll be uh, sharing that information as well. So uh, you know, you're not. It's a it's a double uh, thing. You're you paying for the uh, software, but you're also getting a, a, a personalized service from from me. That's right. So not only are we supplying the software, but we're supplying all the training as well. Not only to use and to set up the software, but to apply it to the market, and clear examples on how to use our trade tools to set your risk parameters, to manage your trades, to make sure that you're in the trade and out of the trade with profit. And Marcus goes through and does a really good job at showing you how to use the tools, how to set your, your risk mindset and the methodologies, and how to apply the software so that you can very easily see these switches, these setups, and the trades. So like he showed on the video, he was able to take 2%, over 2% of his account within the first eight minutes of the trading day. Or oh, was it 11? I forget exactly what it was. Something like that. And uh, that's right. It was within the first eight minutes of the trading day, and he was already done for the day. He had taken his 2% of his total account based upon his 0.5% risk parameters and was done for the day. So... It's a, it's a great system, and he's uh, taken the time to develop it, and he's the best person possible to teach you on how to trade the, the new Tomahawk system from Hawkeye. And for again, like we said, for the very first time, we're making this available on a subscription basis with a very low upfront cost. It's like a lease, a software lease, where you have access to the software. You can try it out. $47 for the first 30 days. If it's not for you, just cancel your subscription and uh, we'll turn you off and we'll see you later. But uh, if you would like the software and you'd like to keep it, uh, then it's just a small uh, monthly subscription following that. Details of it are on the purchase page and on the link that I have provided and I'm giving to you again right now. There it is. Just click on that link and go to the uh, Tomahawk uh, purchase page for more information and more details, uh, another quick summary, what's included, and how to get started right away. You say anything, anyone who signs up this weekend will have access to the special, and uh, you'll be able to start first thing Monday morning. So with, with that said, uh, we can officially say that the webinar is over, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording at this point.